so lively, gotta make it mine. From downtown streets to the Carroll Creek view, there's something special here to feel it too. Lord and Frederick, rise and shine, a city so lively, gotta make it mine. From downtown town streets to the Carroll Creek view, there's something special here, you feel it too. Your host Danny, here to guide the way with a big smile. She brightens up your day, fills up your day. Good morning, Frederick, rise and shine. See you so lively, gotta make it mine. From downtown streets to the Carroll Creek View. Guide the way with a big smile She brightens up your day Girls of your day Good morning, Frederick, rise and shine Ah, uh, yes! So Good morning, Frederick! Rise and shine. That is such an earworm, this song. I absolutely love it. I sing it in the shower. I hope it is not annoyed you too much, but that you continue to remember Good morning, Frederick. Today is Thursday, June 6th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. Thank you so much for joining this program. Yesterday, I uh, put out that our show has over 55,000 views across all platforms. Uh, that was show 47, today 48. Uh, and we've hit 331 subscribers. Now I know a lot of people are probably like, that's not very many. I gotta tell you, it's not easy getting likes and subscribes and comments and shares. Um, it actually goes to show, really, with 55,000 views, most people are voyeurs. They just watch and they don't really engage or interact. But I have to say, that it is so important for that quick moment of just liking or sharing or commenting. We are surely on our way to 1,000 by September, and I had a goal of 500 by June 15th. So we have nine days to go to get 169 more subscribers. Now, some are asking, why? Why are you pushing to get subscribers? Well, my passion is helping small businesses and nonprofits and I want to help them get as much exposure as possible. And to do this, I need the biggest platforms to know that people love the content that we're putting out. Uh, that's why likes, comments, and shares are so powerful. You hold the key to uh, help get more exposure. So we're working in partnership. I'm putting out the content, finding these people to interview and put out and you can do your part by just commenting, liking, and sharing. It takes only seconds, but cumulative. It means the world to people who are working every day to make it happen. So please, like, share, comment. Uh, consider that your random act of kindness each day. You can check that off your list by doing so. Really, really appreciate it though. Got some new swag at the home of everything Frederick. These are our new unisex t-shirts i think you can see maybe good morning frederick on the back can you see that all right so i got unisex t-shirts in this heather gray hold on i'll show you also have the awesome royal blue which i really love love this color and cool pink tank tops hang on i should have had this ready oh gosh here we go I know, it's my show, I'm making a mess in my office. All right, here, here are <laughs> quality, quality uh, production. All right, these are the tank tops, adorable. So, I took them uh, last night. We had our little uh, cocktail and social networking. So fun yesterday, such a great group of people. You have to join us every first Wednesday of the month from five to seven. Um, 
so it was just so enjoyable and relaxed and we got to sit and watch the rain downpour thankfully hopefully you guys are all okay uh from those storms which i didn't even know were happening um anyway so stop by the home of everything frederick we're open thursday to sunday uh, you can pick up any of those are uh, my new swag just 25 dollars, and i still have some of the og shirts and hats for 15 dollars, plus magnets and stickers now uh, i'm replenishing the magnets because there's only one left in there which is awesome uh, if you send me a photo if you purchased a magnet or you have a good morning frederick magnet send me a photo of where your magnet is maybe it's on your fridge maybe it's on your car and starting monday I'm going to be showing where these magnets are. And if I show your photo, all you got to do is text me and you'll get some Maryland lottery scratch offs for doing so. Uh, I've got some exciting news starting on Monday. There's so much starting on Monday. I'm so excited, but, uh, Bob Miller and Chris Michaels from WFMD, the morning show express, I think it's called morning show express i think uh will be joining the program they're going to be doing local news sports and weather for me uh and we'll be chatting a little bit about all things frederick uh about 9 10 each morning so be sure to join us on monday morning for that okay on the show today kelly yates explains why her company pelv rx is a much needed long-awaited specialty in physical therapy for women i'll also show you a recap of the Scott Key Center prom. Oh, I almost cried yesterday. It was so wonderful. Uh, I show you my first Moon Valley Farm CSA box, and we'll talk about why you need to sign up for yours today. And I stopped by the offices at Bent's to chat with Chris Martin about the sports mural project. And of course, you're going to get all the events that are happening in and around Frederick, including a chat with Michelle from Pooling for Veterans to talk about a free event coming up later this month that I am helping with. All right, let's get started. It's Thursday. morning frederick would not be here without our sponsor we help you move and our other sponsors of course whether you're moving across the street or across the country nick and his team of moving experts make the thing easy that process of moving and packing and oh awful i'm stressed for you if you're in the middle of that but keep it as stress-free as possible by hiring the right movers people who are experienced who won't hold your stuff hostage and uh, will make, make that process easier. And We Help You Move is that company. Uh, veteran owned and a great supporter of the Frederick community. And we're putting it out there, still looking for Montana. If you know anyone from Montana moving back to Maryland or someone from Maryland moving to Montana, let Nick know because that's the one place in the 48 that he hasn't been to yet. All right, weather today, light rain this morning with thunderstorms by this evening, 85 degrees. There's a 90% chance of rain. My gosh, this weather, whoo, it is surely crazy. Uh, tomorrow looks still great, mostly sunny and 83. And Saturday, mostly sunny and 83. And Sunday, not bad, partly cloudy and 81. Not a bad weekend, not a bad weekend. So hopefully you have some plans to get outside. Looking into early next week, more of the same, partly cloudy and in the high 70s to low 80s. All right, I wanna tell you about the Scott Key Center Prom. Obviously, been talking about it for weeks. Uh, it was a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks to all of you. Let me show you a little of how it looked.
So, I mean, I did more than 10,000 steps dancing uh, all morning. It was fantastic. They already are talking about next year. Uh, so we will be back next year to give them an even more extraordinary prom. It would not have been possible without so many people. First of all, Alexa at Charles Studio, uh, The Ark at Market, uh, Shauna, your team is phenomenal. Uh, we tried to help as much as possible because you guys were very gracious, not only in donating the space, but providing some amazing food uh, for the Scott Key Center clients. Uh, the They had an absolute ball. It was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Jolena from Sun and Moon Balloon Designs did those awesome little centerpieces and she did the swag right as you entered. And Ellen Fowler did the balloon backdrop uh, that they were able to take photos at. Uh, the Reed family from Reed 360 Photo Booth, I think, and Reed Photo Booth, I think, is uh, what you got to find on social. But the 360 Photo Booth was a huge hit. I should have uploaded uh, the one of me and Mama Cohn. Uh, I, it's the first time I've ever done a 360 Photo Booth. Hers, too. But it was, it's quite funny. But they're really, really great fun to have at an event. Um, and uh, Uncle Ralph's Cookies, oh my gosh, to die for the cookies that they provided. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Bill Iser, Malachi from Wiser Productions, the DJ. He actually had a David Hasselhoff song that one of the clients requested, which I thought, there's no way. It was like from 1989. Nope, he had it and played it. And he played the music that they wanted to hear. Uh, we did all kinds of line dances. Elvis was in the building a couple of times. Um, and it was really just a glorious time. If I forgot anybody who helped, um, I'm trying to remember to make sure I got everybody. But it was phenomenal. Uh, the entire uh, team at Scott Key Center was fabulous. And uh, I can't wait. Oh, and everybody who donated clothing, the guys, they looked so awesome in the suits. Uh, a lot of them wore full-on suits, as you saw in that. Some of them wore their suit jackets with shorts, and the ladies just looked phenomenal. So anyway, huge thank you for all of your support. Thanks to the volunteers who came out. I We really didn't have much to do, which was great. We got to enjoy the event, but uh, I appreciate it so, so much. All right, uh, now let's talk about what I'd like to give you. I'd like to give you some prizes. Uh, thank you to Thermont Fireman's Carnival, which opens June 17th, coming up 10, 11 days. Uh, the parade is on June 20th. And uh, pre-sale ride tickets, you can get them now for just $20. You can purchase them at Woodsboro Bank in Thermont, at Wise Market in Thermont, and Thermont Country Kitchen. Also, if you go to Guardian Hose Company on Facebook, they do have limited days and hours where they're selling the ride wristbands as well. And I'd like to give you one. We've got five to give away. So just text RIDE to 888-465-2944 and then you can ride for free, which is so fun. Uh, and it, we are full into carnival season, of course. Uh, all right, let's see. For winning... How about, like I said, those ride wristbands? Uh, you can also win five Maryland Lottery scratch-offs, and you can also win a month of fitness classes from Fit for Mom. So just text those highlighted words to 888-465-2944. I'd love to give them to you. I'll be giving uh, everything away, I think, uh, this Friday is what we said, or this Friday for Maryland Lottery and next Friday for the Fit for Mom and uh, the Ride Wristbands. All right, we got tons coming up after the break. Kelly from Pelvar X. Also a recap, uh, oh, sorry, the unboxing of Moon Valley Farms, uh, CSA box, all the events, and I talked to Chris Martin from the Sports Mural, and we talk about uh, some really cool stuff coming to Frederick. That all happens just after this.
all-in-one events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. And we've got ANS Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business. It's right here in Frederick. They specialize in roofing and siding, along with windows, gutters, patios, and decks. And after that weather yesterday, if you're concerned at all about leaks in your roof or siding being pulled or coming up, please give Sandra a call. She is happy to come and check everything out for you and let you know if you need some replacements or if everything is good to go. Feel safe and secure in your home and make sure everything works well on the outside. And maybe you're thinking about a new patio or a deck. Call Sandra at a s Construction, 301-703-2157, or just email info at ansconstruction.net. Sandra is an amazing member of this Frederick community. Very... Uh, integrated into women in building trades. I can't wait. International Women in Trades, I think she told me last night, is coming up June 15th. And uh, I look forward to maybe doing something to highlight that. I think it's awesome that women are in the trades doing well. And uh, that industry is growing and growing. And I couldn't be happier. All right, if you want to give her a call, she'll come out and do a quote. If you need work done, you can get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. Give Sandra a call. Let her know that I said hello. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Frederick. Ah, uh, yes, it's Berea Thursday at Taco Bar, located West Point Plaza on Route 40, right between 40 and alternate 40. Berea is slow-cooked shredded beef, served in a number of ways. The most common one is on tacos with melted cheese and paired with consomme, which is the beef broth. You dip right in there, kind of like the au jus, uh, made from the Berea juices. There are tacos with Berea, queso Berea, pizza Berea, Torta Berea and Berea fries and more. Remember, this special is only available on Thursdays because Berea takes a long time to cook. They want to make sure it is perfect for you. So they do it once a week. All right, let's chat about, we're going to do all of our events, but importantly, we've got the Sisters in Charity Garden Party, June 18th. Now, my goal is to collect 200 pairs of shoes for Souls of Love along with raising lots of money for charity. So mark your calendar for Tuesday, June 18th, 5 to 8 p.m. at Fingerboard Farm. We're gonna be at the Inn at the Fingerboard Farm and uh, it's gonna be such a fun event. I've got a lot of great ladies who are putting together some awesome baskets that you can win. And then of course, all of the money is gonna go to charity. Now. I want to thank Honey D's Charcuterie, Love Boards, The Box Theory. Uh, the three of them are joining together and creating a charcuterie board for this event. We'll also have other light fare and some beverages for you. Uh, but come on out, five to eight. We'll be giving away the baskets to people who have bought raffle tickets. And we'll also be announcing the winner of the entire basket challenge, I guess. So I changed the rules up. Maybe originally you saw where I said, oh, the winning charity gets all the money. Well, we kept thinking that's not really fair and we want every charity to do well. So 50% of every charity's money, they will get to keep it. And the other 50% from all the baskets will go to the winning charity. So we do want to keep this a little competitive, friendly competition, of course, but make your date to be at Fingerboard Farm June 18th. There is a Facebook event you can RSVP to. Uh, listed here are the charities for all of the baskets, which will be on display starting on the 12th 
at the home of everything Frederick. And the 12th is the first night market in downtown Frederick. So uh, we're not open during the day at the home of everything Frederick. We will be open that evening and it's going to be so fun. We're going to have a lot of fun stuff going on there. All right, let's move to our calendar. You know where to go if you want to find out what is happening in Frederick. Let me see here. Man, I got to look around my phone here. All right, promocircus.com. That is my company that helps local businesses, radio stations, and nonprofits market themselves. I also have a list of all of the events. The calendar is embedded right here, as you can see. Oh my gosh, so many events. I've just added even more. Every night, I spend about 15 to 20 minutes going through some of the events on Facebook, trying to add as many as I can. However, if you have an event, if you send it to me, that's the easiest way. When you tag me, I don't see all my tags right on time. So if you can message it to me and I'll see it or you can email it to me as well. All right, let's talk about, so the easiest way to see is click on this agenda tab and you can see all of the events we have listed. I mean, goodness, again, no one can say there is nothing happening in Frederick uh, ever because there is tons. All right, let's see. Today is Thursday. Let's talk about, uh, we've got, let me just, I'm looking through here real quick. Of course, it is uh, Alive at Five Day today. You can see, let's see, 6-6, six, six, Zachary Smith and the Mardi Gras Kings is at Alive at 5. I hope the weather holds. I don't think, maybe it's, I don't think it's supposed to rain maybe this afternoon. Fingers crossed. They always make their announcement on social around noon, noon to, to 1, so uh, double check that. Rosie Cheeks has their first open mic night tonight, and you can win $500 if you participate in that in the uh, coming weeks over the summer. Uh, the Four County Lions Club Carnival is happening as well. Uh, and like I said, this is carnival season. And you've got that line dancing in Thermont. That's so fun. Also, it's coming up on uh, this weekend, let's see, Friday. Don't forget, last day of school tomorrow. Uh, two-hour early dismissal, and I'm going to head over to the Frederick Airport for their first Summer Fun Days kickoff event. Uh, that is from 11 to 7 tomorrow, and at the Frederick Airport, they're going to be opening up the airport all summer long, so if you're looking for fun stuff to do there, I come out and see me. I'm going to be doing some video and stuff, and maybe we can chat if you want to be on the show. Um, Fingerboard Farm Market is open 11 to 5.30 if you're looking for produce and other great things. They're open weekdays 11 to 5.30 and Saturdays as well. Uh, again, you can see I've added some of the food trucks wherever they're going to be. And uh, you can head over to the Sheriff's Open House on Friday from 5 to 7 showing off. I guess they're new digs, so that's pretty cool. Or they're, uh, yeah, they're having their open house with all kinds of law enforcement um, displays, and they'll be doing canine demonstrations, which will be fun, and uh, you can get a building tour. Best to get the building tour during open house, right? Not during any other, other time. Uh, you can nominate your Shiro. That is daily, and that closes soon. So that is part of the Frederick Chambers Shiro Awards. Uh, there is a She Pitch event that is coming up where local women business businesses pitch to get funded, uh, which is so cool. It's great to see so many new businesses popping up and established businesses expanding or taking on something else. But the Shiro Awards for strength, heart, and equality. If you know somebody who deserves that award, nominate them. And that's a great thing that you can do. Also, the Troy Fest Scholarship Opportunity for Music. If you know someone, a child who's interested in playing a musical instrument or taking lessons or doing any of that, but they just can't fund it, have them apply for this scholarship. And the Troy Fest event is coming up in September and benefits rhythm changes. 
All right, June 22nd, there is a free event for veterans and first responders. I'm gonna be emceeing the event and I'd like to take you to Michelle who will tell us all about it. I chat chatted with her just the other day. Here you go. I am on right, where, where are we? Rikesford Road? Rikesford Road. Rikesford Road. And we help you move with Michelle to talk about this great event for veterans coming up soon. Yes, that Pulling for Veterans is hosting, and you're our co host and yes. our MC. Yes. We're having a big party for veterans and first responders on June 22nd okay. out at the Burkittsville Aurora Town Grounds. Okay. It's going to be from 3 to 9 p.m. We have free food, tons of barbecue. Activities, three bands, um, gonna have tug of war contests with a kiddie pool full of water in the middle. Oh, so fun. hopefully we can get some departments against <laughs> each other or branches right. of the military and younger, older generation, somebody see who ends up in the tub of water. I'm yeah. um, gonna have bouncy houses for the kids, checkers contests. So, you know, maybe have some seven year olds and 70 year olds see who can outplay each other on the checkerboards. I love it. Yeah. Just yeah. It's gonna and be a fun evening. It is gonna be a fun evening. You already have over 200 people who yes. have RSVPs. We've had 200 RSVPs. We can have up to 500 people at the venue. Um, everything is free, but we are asking everyone to RSVP for our food count. Okay. So if you're interested in tickets, just text tickets to 240-285-4487. Okay. And then we'll respond to see how many tickets you need and your family's last name to put you on the list. Nice. It's so easy. But yeah. just what a way for pulling for veterans to give back to those who are serving or have served. Yep. So any veteran or emergency responder or... A loved one of a veteran. If yeah. If they're someone that you've lost and you want to come honor them and... Yeah. yeah, it's just going to be a great day. That's right. Yeah. So really, look, anybody who has a connection with a veteran, please text the number. Uh, say that number again, and two I'll put four, it on uh, screen. Go ahead. 240-285-4487. Okay. And then Michelle will make sure and get you taken care of as far as how many people are in your party and give you all the information that you need, but it's gonna be a great event. It is. Um, the other thing that we're looking for that day is for some volunteers yes. to help out to give back to the veterans and the first responders. So if you're interested in coming out and helping that day as well, or if you're a teen that needs community service hours for when school starts back up, well, happy to help you and hook you yeah. up with your hours. So yes. reach out to the same phone number, 240. 285-4487 if you're interested in volunteering. Yes, so we need lots of volunteers because now we have lots of people to, to feed, feed and <laughs> direct and herd to different activities, but it's going to be a great fun day. June 22nd. What time does it start? It starts at 3. 3 o'clock. We are asking for RSVPs to be in by June 14th so okay. that we can get all of our food orders in and yeah. adequate time for our sponsors and so forth. And yeah. Be ready for everybody that afternoon, so. It'll be awesome. Come on out and join us. Can't wait to see you June 22nd. All right, so please spread the word. If you are a veteran, if you know a veteran, veterans family, or of course, first responders, it's gonna be a great day. I can't wait uh, to host that event and uh, have a great time watching all the activities that they've planned, plus the food, and wanna thank everybody Plus volunteers, we need volunteers. So if you've got a high school student who needs to get some hours in over the summer, please, please have them reach out to Michelle. Uh, we need some extra hands to make sure everything is taken care of there. And also to see the links and details to those events for that event and many others, please go to promocircus.com, click on Everything Frederick Live and Events, and if you have an event you want included in the calendar, please email it to everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. Okay, going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to unbox my first CSA delivery from Moon Valley Farm and chat with Chris Martin, who's working on the Sports Mural Project, and Dr. Kelly Yates talks about how physical therapy can help women with all sorts of issues, and that is all coming up right after this. Elevate your next party with Dreamscape Slumber Events. Over 12 themes and customization available for kids, teens, and adults to enjoy. Don't have the space? We have solutions for that too. Search Dreamscape Slumber Events on Facebook.
right. Don't forget those promo codes. We'll save you some money. And uh, it's always good. All right. I want to talk about a CSA. If you don't know what a CSA is, that's okay, because I didn't really either. But let me just pull this up. All right. So Moon Valley Farm. Oh, they are spectacular. Certified organic, everything there. And this is how it works. So CSA is like a crowdsourcing for farms, right? So people get subscriptions to get the produce or whatever the CSA actually has either delivered or delivered somewhere close where they can go pick it up. It is really fantastic, okay? So you can order a small, a medium, or a large box. You can do weekly or bi-weekly. You get to choose. You have a lot of control. I know uh, if you saw Emma's interview the other day, she talks about it. They're really not big. St there's no long-term contracts you're signing or anything like that. You're actually just picking what you want and you can exchange things out if you don't like certain things. And she not only provides stuff from her farm, but you can actually add in things from other locally sourced farms, which helps support the entire farming community. So you pick a size of the box and she gives you kind of examples here. A small share, four to six items per week. A medium share, this is what I got, uh, seven to nine items. Now when she says items, the green beans obviously count as one item. Um, so I got a little punnet of strawberries or pint of strawberries. Um, obviously that's one item, right? Uh, or if you're a bigger family, uh, or maybe you only want to do bi-weekly, maybe one large box bi-weekly, uh, makes the most sense for you. And then you can pick your length. She does, uh, her CSA all year long. They're, they take the last two weeks of December off as they should. All right. So you can get a box for 50 weeks a year, or you can just do peak season, which is right now. Okay. Six months, uh, you can get your delicious, organic, amazing produce. Now you can get it delivered. I had mine delivered. It's a little bit extra, or you can pick it up somewhere close to you, which there are so many places. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show you the box that I received on my doorstep yesterday, uh, yesterday, Wednesday. She, yep. Wednesday she delivers. All right. So this is the medium size box and I, I apologize for the video. I thought I was doing so much better, but anyway, uh, there was kale, which I will use for juicing. My mom, I think likes to eat kale. I don't really like it steamed too much. I like kale chips. I might make those. But anyway, fresh bag of lettuce. There were some mini cucumbers in there, which I can't wait to eat. I love those. There was asparagus, um, those strawberries. Oh my gosh, look and taste amazing. Got a couple of, got a bunch of green onions, two of those other red onions, and that asparagus. Absolutely cannot wait to get into all of this and it's delivered right to your door and certified organic. So if you want to try to eat better and support local farms, here is such a simple way to do it. It is with the CSA. So sign up today and look, then you don't have to worry about it. And again, you can exchange items every week if you want. So check out Moon Valley Farm and uh, you can just click at moonvalleyfarm.net and join the CSA. Again, the CSA helps farms like Moon Valley to figure out how much to plant. And uh, you can also donate a box to someone in need. So there is an opportunity when you go into your CSA, maybe you're going on vacation or maybe you're doing something else. You could stop your box for sure, easy. Or you can just keep the box, but donate it to somebody else. So very cool opportunity, way to support local. And we love that as well. All right, let's talk about our market maker. 
Market makers are the people who keep this economy going by running small businesses just like Kelly. She'd been working for another practice when she decided that focusing on women's health was a calling. So she started Pelv RX. Let's meet Dr. Yates. Kelly. Hello. Pelv RX mm -hmm. is the name yes. of your uh, company. Correct. You are a physical therapist, mm -hmm. I am. but you specialize in women's physical therapy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So I didn't even know this was a thing, mm -hmm. which is most don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not is alone. it new ish? It it's gaining more popularity yeah. and it's becoming more well known that that is a service that is offered and that you actually don't have to live with the symptoms of pelvic floor dysfunction. Okay. So it's, it is gaining popularity, which is great. That means, you know, the tinkling when you laugh mm -hmm. sort of thing. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. yeah laughing, running, coughing. Ago. I know. Yeah. Well, and it's chalked yeah. up to, Oh, well, welcome to mom life. This is how it is. Yeah. I still hear it. It breaks my heart. It's like, no, actually there's a lot we can do for this. So that's where I'm trying wow. to really push the knowledge and the education on that. Okay. You're a big CrossFitter. Mm -hmm. And so you really, that's kind of where you source some people who mm -hmm. might need help. So who, how do you find these patients? What mm -hmm. are they saying to you when they're coming to you? What are the issues? Um, I, the biggest one I hear is probably the, the mm. leakage mm. that, or we call it in, in our world, we yeah. call it urinary incontinence, but the yeah. leakage. Um, and I, I see it with things, I mean, as simple as like coughing, laughing, sneezing, yeah. or I'll see it with like, I'm good there, but it's when I run or it's uh, when I lift something heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll treat pelvic pain. So that's okay. another thing. Yeah. Um, especially, and not even postpartum, that can be anytime. Right. Um, but pelvic pain, um, constipation is actually something we can help with as well. Um, so that one I'll see a fair amount, um, prolapse or that like pelvic heaviness is mm. usually the complaint I'll hear if that's an issue, not yeah. always, but it's like, oh, I feel like my, my, you know, it's, it's very heavy when I do things. Okay. Um, diastasis recti or the, the separation of the abdominal muscles. Um, and I, I see that both, um, as a complaint during pregnancy, which it's very normal during pregnancy. We need that to happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then postpartum trying to okay. think like, how can I, how can I correct this? Or how can I, um, I hate to even say the word fix, um, yeah. but how can I better strengthen my core? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now with what you, um, how you're helping people, is this something that you're teaching them things that they can do mm -hmm. after here? Mm -hmm. Right. It's, so it's not like this continual mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah. One of my biggest goals and one of my values is empowerment. Yeah. Right. So I don't want to just be the person that fixes yeah. you. Right. Yeah. I want to be the person that says, all right, this is what you need to do to help yourself and give you those tools. So that way you can carry that on. Cause I'm trying to create yeah. a lifestyle yeah. that can be implemented throughout. And if you run into an issue, you're going to be like, Oh, I remember this yeah. is kind of what happened before with Kelly. Let me try these things first. Yeah. Then if it doesn't work, then we'll come back in. Yeah. Um, so That's I'm really nice big that you're that. really trying to fix your way out of a job kind of, but yeah. as I said to you before, there's no shortage of patients no. who need physical therapy. Um, they may not just know it, mm -hmm. that that's what they need, right? Exactly. Because I think physical therapy, I don't know. Do you find like it comes in when people are just kind of like, I got to do something or do they, do they know that they need physical therapy when they come to you? I see both. Yeah. I see both. And the ones who come to me um, more as a preventative, they either, you know, saw a post on something, a friend told them like, Hey, you have to do this. Yeah. Um, some of the healthcare professionals are getting better at being a little bit more proactive about mm. it. Um, especially midwives. I, I see even during pregnancy, they might say like, Hey, why don't you just go have a couple sessions? Um, and then postpartum again, like, why don't you just see pelvic floor PT, um, get things checked and go from there. Okay. So I am seeing it, 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 the tide starting to turn a little yeah. bit, which is great where I am having clients come in as more of a preventative. Nice. Um, and then I have ones who've been dealing with something for five, 10, 15 years. Like I had no clue I could get help. Yeah. So I see both. Yeah. I mean, I would say that that's true too. I didn't mm -hmm. even know something that could be fixed with physical therapy and mm -hmm. not something more drastic. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, so you moved into your new space here just I recently. Yes. You were practicing amongst another organization mm -hmm. for a while. Yep. Um, you got your own set up. Mm -hmm. um, what has been the most exciting part about all of this? Setting up your Whoa, space see. and just starting my own thing yeah. um, has just been so exciting. And I have, I, I was actually talking to somebody the other day who's going to help me organize my thoughts because I have very big goals um, and I need to, again, kind of carve that path out. So just being able to create something that 
I feel like the community needs yeah. um, in a way that I, I feel like would best serve the population. Yeah. Um, has, oh gosh, I love it already. It's been yeah. so much fun. Yeah. yeah. As exhausting yeah. as it may be, right? It is your you know, own thing. It's, I feel like it should be more exhausting. <laughs> I'm working all the time, yeah. but it doesn't feel like work right, right. now. Um, I'm not saying it's easy. No, I'm no. not sitting Same. back with my feet up. It's, right it's been there. very challenging, very yeah. stressful, but it's more of a, like, I see this taking me in a direction that I want it to go. Nice. So it's more excitement um, yeah. than feeling like work right now. Yeah. At least, I'd ask me again in a month. We yeah. might have a different answer. But for right now, it's, it's just been good. very exciting. And it yeah. should, you know, when you're doing something you love and enjoy and you're doing it for yourself, mm -hmm. it shouldn't feel like work, really. Right. Yeah, as exhausting as it may be yes. for some of us. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, over the next six to twelve, mm -hmm. so you've got some big goals. Mm -hmm. uh, what what would be like the pinnacle goal, the way down the track goal that they're telling you to rein in? Mm -hmm. But what is that? Um, I would love to. Well, in a year, I want to be in a bigger space, okay. um, and I would love to have the ability to hire you know three, maybe four. PTs um, mm. to, to come aboard and help out with this yeah. and then offer different services. So um, whether it's telehealth, I would like to be able to do that, especially for my postpartum moms, where yeah. it's maybe like the first week or two, like I don't want to leave the house, but I need a touch point, yeah. right? And I, I feel like that's lacking in our system where it's have a baby right by like, six weeks later. That's a long time to yeah. go after having a baby without a touch point, okay. um, in my opinion. So I think providing potentially telehealth there um, or, you know, if somebody's like, I just would rather do telehealth, cool, yeah. we, we can offer those services. Um, and then potentially providing like some online classes as yeah. well of different like diagnoses I, I see, where maybe you just want a little bit more education on it, but you don't feel like you're quite ready to come in gotcha. to the facility. Okay. So, so those are some things that are yeah. just you know, thrown out there. Oh, those are extra, I, I think they're pretty attainable. Yeah. I think you've yeah. got it, you've got it made there. Yeah. Um, if somebody wants to find out how to book mm -hmm. an appointment with you mm -hmm. and all of that, where do they need to go? Um, my website, which is pelvrx, P E L V R X dot com. Mm -hmm. um, you can go there just to, to learn more about um, the, the company, what I offer, what I do. My email is also on there. Okay. Shoot me an email. Um, Instagram, I have stuff on there. You can send me a, a direct message on Instagram too. And again, that's just at pelvrx. So yeah. honestly, any of those ways, learn more information from the website, reach out to me directly. I'm happy to help. Yeah. Um, and then the phone number is on the website too. Yeah. What do you see as the biggest challenge in the next? year or two in healthcare with um, maybe women in particular, do you notice any sort of trends or concerns down the track? In a way, I see things trending positively okay, from great. a women's health standpoint. Yeah. And I say that because over the couple of years that I've, I've kind of switched gears into this niche, I'm slowly, very, very slowly starting to see things change and improve a little bit. Okay. And they're becoming a little bit more awareness about okay. it. I know that doesn't answer your question with like a, a challenge from that, yeah. but I do see things starting to become a little bit less taboo and more talked about, okay. which is great. That is, that's great news. Um, that's great. So hopefully it continues to trend yeah. in that direction, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. From, from women's health specifically, that's kind yeah. of how I see it going. So if, uh, if there are moms out there who are dealing with bleeding, leakage and all of that. Is there anything we can give them like two tips right now that they can do at home mm -hmm. to see if they can have some improvement before they contact you? Yeah. And I also have, is you know, I break this down to different things, tip sheets as well okay. to send out. Um, it, I'm, I'm kind of cautious because if, if you Google that, you're going to find just do Kegels. Uh -huh. Um, and a couple things happen with that. One, either you don't know how to do a Kegel. Mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. We're doing it wrong or that's not what you need. Ah. So maybe we need like more relaxation before we build up the strength gotcha. or something like that. Um, but I will say kind of step back and look at your overall, like just lifestyle, which can be helpful as well. Are you, this sounds weird because if you're leaking, you're like, Oh, I don't want to drink water, but are you drinking enough? Cause dehydration can feed into that. Yeah, okay. Um, what are your stress levels like? Because our pelvic floor muscles, um, really respond to stress. So okay. can we knock that down a little bit? Um, how much are you sleeping? That can be a hard one to change, um, especially if mamas yeah. have a newborn. Yeah. Um, so sometimes that's not as controllable. Um, and how are we feeling yourself? So how much are we eating? Especially new moms, we need to eat enough. And I see mm -hmm. that a lot where we're under fueling, um, and it can lead to pelvic floor dysfunction wow. and contribute to it. Yeah. I should say maybe not lead to it, but contribute yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, so those are like the big lifestyle things that you can control right now. Yeah. Um, 
assess that, um, have an honest conversation with yourself and see like, where could I improve this? Yeah. Um, so that's a big thing that everybody could Who benefit knew from. That all of that stuff it's, would have. It's a complex <laughs> system and yeah. we dive into all of that and it yeah. can help guide you through that. That's awesome. Um, and then just really looking at overall strength. So especially if, if you have a toddler running around, you just had a newborn, it can be really hard to exercise. Um, but we have found that if we have strength limitations, even in the hips, the core, if you know like, oh, this is something I need to work on, mm. even just starting there. If, if you think like, can I fit in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is of some type of strength routine, mm. that can have a huge impact on the pelvic floor. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think sometimes we get overwhelmed thinking, oh, I got to go to the gym three mm -hmm. days a week, an mm -hmm. hour a time, and I mm -hmm. can't. But actually, if you just do things consistently, maybe five, 10 minutes yep. throughout the day, mm -hmm. when you have time, then, mm -hmm. then it's gonna help ultimately in the end. Yeah, it adds up. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. I mean, you know, I think it's, I think people should get help when they feel like they need it. Mm -hmm. Don't put it off right. just because you might be a new mom with a toddler and a, and a new baby, because mm -hmm. maybe you can catch things earlier, mm -hmm. or maybe you can get the tools you need to fix them quicker mm -hmm. than waiting years and years and years. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's always easier to treat it earlier on, but it can be treated later as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with that. And you were saying earlier, like you get a lot of referrals from midwives mm -hmm. and going to the CrossFit gyms mm -hmm. and things. Do you, are there a lot of women who are CrossFitters who are having issues too? Because mm -hmm. I feel like they're like, yeah, Ugh, yeah. ready to go. So no. Yeah, okay. I see a lot, and there's a lot of impact things. Um, uh, there's if we're not bracing properly, and this this applies not just CrossFit, but any type of lifting. If mm. we're not using our core correctly or bracing correctly, um, and again, this is where it goes beyond just the pelvic floor. Let's say we have an issue with like the foot or the ankle, mm. um, or or the the low back or the upper back. There's something that's feeding into our core system not working yeah. efficiently. It can lead to those dysfunctions. Yeah. And so you're so, able to bring people in here and evaluate mm -hmm. kind of how they're lifting and bending and okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, looking at all of that. What's yeah. the strength? What's the what, what's the mobility like? Where where do you fall into okay, we need to do this specifically for you. Right. Yeah. Um, and that can look different for, for of everybody. Course. Yeah. Good. All right. Well you can come see Dr. Kelly yes. Gates uh, at Pelv RX. I'm gonna put the uh, website on the screen. Find her on Instagram. She can help you if you're having some issues, or if you know somebody who is, you can yeah. refer her, refer them to her. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Thank you. All right, we want to thank Kelly for that. And again, didn't even know this was a thing, but I do know. I mean. Ladies, we talk about this all the time. If I sneeze, run, cough, oh my goodness, terrible. So I got to look into that as well. All right, let's talk about who's doing good in the neighborhood. All right, there is a big project coming to Frederick that will highlight the best of the best. I talked with Chris Martin about the Frederick Sports Mural. You may have seen this uh, around social and I talk to him and get more information. On the rooftop of the offices at Benz, gorgeous. This this building, the what you guys did to the inside. This is Chris Martin, everybody, if you don't know, Convoy Creatives, and involved in pretty much every organization known to man in Frederick, but <laughs> you have some hand in it. Um, and Chris is working on the sports mural that uh, Yemi is painting and there's a bunch of people, Joe Gatewood and Tony C, all a part of. This is pretty exciting for Frederick. Yeah, yeah I'm, as an old athlete, uh, I'm super excited to, to have this come to life when I hopped on board to help with the marketing efforts. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a, a little bit progressive and probably impatient to some people. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I love history, I love uh, sports in general. And I love Frederick. I think it'll be an amazing asset to have it as is. a tourist attraction. And if you don't know what this is, we in Frederick, this lovely town, have uh, somehow had an influence in 250 chosen athletes who were at the top of their game. Yep. In how many different sports did you say? Uh, are over 30. 30 sports. So I know we've got like an Olympic runner, we've got baseball, football. Uh, canoeing and yep. I mean just 
pretty much every sport you can think of, Frederick has somebody that has reached the top of their game, which is so exciting. Yeah, 250 athletes, uh, including a horse, including which a lot of people don't, don't realize. Well, horses are athletes, let me just tell you, <laughs> at that level. Uh, so all of these, uh, and I, I encourage you, and I'll, I'll post the website, to go check out the website about this. But, um, you know, Chris and I have been chatting about I think it's going to be really, really cool. And it's going to happen pretty quick. Yeah, so uh, it, uh, I, we don't have an exact date. Uh, I know things seem kind of stagnant. There's snags that happen with every type of project, sure. construction or not. Um, but it seems like we'll be uh, kind of getting the ball rolling a little bit with actual uh, actual movement yeah. uh, or construction in the fall sometime. And I know that for sure we'll be open and uh, ready for the public in 2025. I mean, that is incredible. It is going to be such a tourist destination. And you were telling me that the final plans now have this to be one of the largest, well, first of all, the largest piece of artwork painted by one person or something? Yeah, one of the largest sports murals in the entire world done by one artist. And that, that happens to be Yemi. Yeah. So. Well, we all knew Yemi was absolutely <laughs> amazing. And now he'll have that star next to his name. So we are going to start to highlight some of these great athletes because along with this mural, there's a bunch of other little projects that will come of it, right? First of all, there'll be an interactive component to the mural, right? Is what I heard originally? There's a, yeah, that that was an original thing. I'm not sure if we're set on what what that will it, be. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's been a there's been a lot of darts thrown at the board to see, see. which one gets closest to the bullseye. Yeah. Uh, without going broke. Well, maybe your project will have some of that. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, there will be a lot of projects to come. Certainly, we're talking about maybe a year and a half, maybe two, two years tops for this thing to be a part of our community. And there'll be a lot of celebrating going on for sure. Yeah, I can't wait for it to start. Okay, so where can people go to find out more information and to donate? Look, if you want to support this project, yeah, it is. It, the donation would be uh, greatly appreciated. Yeah, right? you can just go to FrederickSportsMural.org. Uh, there's a donate uh, page right on the link. You can find out what athletes are on there. Chances are, if you're from Frederick or know some people in Frederick, their family member is probably going to be on it. Yeah, uh, with having over two or 250 athletes. Yeah. Um, and uh, in uh, June, I believe it's June 7th at 5 p.m., which is a Friday, uh, TGP Gives is doing a, uh, a big event at uh, Whiskey Creek um, uh, Golf Club where we'll be one of the beneficiaries yes. uh, from that. There'll be food, drinks, music. Um, so every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. All right. So, yes, if you can head out to Whiskey Creek, because this project will get some of that money. Otherwise, head straight to that website. If you can donate, donate, but check out that list. I think you're gonna recognize some of those names. Awesome. All right, thanks, Chris. Yep. We will see you next time. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> sorry. We'll be doing uh, more coverage. I'm gonna start getting some interviews with some of the athletes that are gonna be on the mural or their families. And uh, I think it's going to be very, very cool. All right, I want to thank Shannon, Tara, Dorothy, Terry, D for commenting. Those are the ones I saw uh, in checking uh, one of the streams. So if you comment, I might mention you too, hint, hint. Uh, coming up tomorrow, I talk with Aaron Lawson about United Way's Stuff the Bus campaign, which has started. Brandon talks about his golf tournament to benefit Civitan. And I'll get you all your weekend events coming up. Again, we're on all the socials. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, push it out there. I know it's kind of annoying, but I want to get to 1,000. I'd love to get to 500 by June 15th. Um, and I appreciate all the help that you guys are giving. All right. It is Thursday. Get out there. Be great, Frederick. Come down.